The questions were designed to foster better race relations on a college campus, but now SMU is making a change to a campus-wide survey because of the way the questions come across to some. We do want to thank you for joining us tonight here at 10 o'clock. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. I'm Doug Dunbar. So this survey Kaylee talked about disappeared from the SMU website after some backlash. Andrea Lucia on the campus tonight for us, where Andrea, understand they're planning to add more context to this survey and put it back out? Yeah, the university says it plans to add an explanation of the survey's intent before it reposts it. The survey is intended to find out what questions faculty and students really have for members of other racial groups. And it is intentionally blunt. Why are black women always angry? That is a question that a lot of people ask, and they want to know. Dr. Maria Dixon Hall wants to get honest about race. People have these questions. We're like, let's answer the questions. She's in charge of SMU's Cultural Intelligence Initiative, which a year and a half ago began interviewing students and faculty from different backgrounds. What are the stereotypical questions you hear? And then we ask students, faculty and staff, what, do, what have you always wanted to know about these other groups? She created an online survey to see which of the questions posed. Are Jewish people the same as white people? Students really want it answered that there are no bad questions when you're an educational institution. The only qu bad question is the question not asked. But when some of the questions popped up on social media earlier today, not everyone agreed that asking things like, do black people hate America, had a legitimate purpose. Is we're asking the question in the authentic way in which it's usually asked. If you think about Colin Kaepernick, it's not, what is he protesting? It's he must hate America. Interest in a question about Ramadan, she says, led to more available information. I was able to put information on our website that was really Ramadan 101. She aims to find more teaching opportunities like this so students can ultimately leave here more culturally intelligent. Well, that survey was posted online back in November, and about 50 to 60 people had responded before today when that number more than doubled. Dr. Dixon Hall says she also hadn't heard any complaints before today, and she believes that they are coming mostly from people uh, who are off campus, not from students or faculty who are here. Reporting live on SMU campus, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.